Good evening. I am Orson Welles. Tonight, we're going to be viewing a tale of the macabre. A dark and twisted tale of ghosts, ghouls, goblins, and other dark creatures that dwell in the depths of Mr. man's domain. There are no goblins. What? No goblins. Listen, I don't have to do this. I have a fish to commercial in an hour. Oh, what the hell? I need the money. Submitted for your viewing approval, I now bring to you the strange review. And remember, there is no fish stick quite like Mrs. Pell's fish sticks. Oh yes! They're even better when they're raw! What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Hugo Strange, one more time, still suffering from electrical problems, um, but that's not going to stop me from releasing this video. Uh, this is actually something I'm going to try to do every Halloween, is to find a Halloween-related movie and review it. So I did some searching on the web and found this appropriately titled film, Trick or Treat. Now, the film is produced by Brian Singer. It's uh, written and directed by uh, Michael Dortry or Daughtry, however you pronounce it, I'm not quite sure. Um, it's starring Anna Paquin, Brian Cox, Dylan Baker, and the thing that tied the whole thing together for me that made me want to watch this film is the fact that it's an anthology series. Following along in the same lines of things like Twilight Zone, Are You Afraid of the Dark, Tales from the Crypt, Tales from the Dark Side, Amazing Stories, things of that nature. And anybody who knows anything about me knows I love anthologies. To make this all the more awesome is the fact that all of the stories are interconnected in some way, so I'm really looking forward to checking this out, and it's a movie that's very appropriate for Halloween because it's about Halloween. If you want to know more about the film, link is in the description box below, and as always, I'm going to watch it and get back to you and tell you how it is. See you on the other side. <laughs> <laughs> That's a wrap. I gotta tell you, really enjoyable film. Um, really fun. Not exactly scary. It's more of a comedy um, than anything else. I mean, it has its, uh, it has its, it has its moments, but it's not meant to be a horror film. It's uh, it's meant to be kind of silly, and there are some really silly moments in it. Uh, Dylan Barker's character is hysterically funny, at least to me. Um, there's a lot of good twists in here, a lot of good twists and turns. Um, it's really kind of like on the on the same lines of like a Tales from the Crypt type scary, uh, or a Tales from the Crypt type deal, um, where it's violent but it's funny. And it's not like overly violent, it's it's moderately violent. And it kind of reminds me of that um that Sleepy Hollow um movie they came out with um the modern Sleepy Hollow not the one with Johnny Depp um actually it it'll be in the description box but it kind of reminds me of that movie and I'm going to review that movie too um if I get my hands on it um but it kind of reminded me that in which it's kind of like a modern cautionary tale fable sort of deal that sort of thing um just a really overall interesting movie. Even if you don't like the characters, and there aren't that many likable characters in here, um, because you really don't stick around with just one character, kind of bouncing around with several characters. So, um, overall, it's a good movie. I definitely recommend it. It's hilarious. Fun to watch for a Halloween occasion, so definitely check it out. Um, let me see if there's anything else I can say. Hmm... Yeah, overall, um, everybody turns in a pretty funny performance here. Dylan Barker, like I said, hilarious. Brian Cox is good. Anna Paquin's character... Uh, there's some good stuff here. The kids in this movie are absolute bastards. Um, there's this one group of kids that we follow in one of the stories, and they're just absolute bastards, except for one, and... It's kind of bold what happens to him, but at the same time, I get it. Power restored. Oh! 
awesome. I'm gonna go have a snow cone. All right, another great review. Now it's time for that. Ah! Ghostface?